you do with my couch? Are we going to get dressed? Here, let's show everybody the mess you've created already this morning. Too many toys. Hey, Easton? Say good morning. Can you wave? Wave. Good job. Can we get you dressed? It's Bye. cold. Yeah, we'll get dressed so we can go play. Oh, come here. Come here, please. There you are. Where's Easton? It's an early December morning. No one but we are. So this is the disgrace of my living room already so far this morning and it is 8.30 a.m. So it was pretty tidy when I came down this morning. But we've been playing with blocks and tractors and we were reading books, right? Easton was up really early this morning. You're gonna get stuck. What are you doing? You're gonna get stuck in there. What are you doing? Uh-oh, Easton's stuck. Stuck, and clearly I haven't taken this off yet. We've had it for like two years, so Mom needs to get it done. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Hi, good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna call this the weekly vlog yet, or a daily vlog, or a weekend vlog. Today is Friday. Easton likes to chat as well. So today is. Are you gonna let mama talk? Every time I pull the camera out, he decides to start screaming. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Should I help you out? Okay, let's get out. One, two, three, up. There we are. Where are your blocks? What on earth, child, are you doing? It's gonna be one of those days today, isn't it? It is, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck. Can you go look outside? Go look at the snow. Where's the snow? Yes, you actually have to get up and go look. <laughs> no, no, why not? Hopefully, he lets me talk real quick. So today is Friday, Ryan just left early this morning, probably about six o'clock. He is gone until Sunday night. He went out of town for Aiden's hockey tournament, so I am alone here with Alex and Easton. Alex is at school right now. Um, he leaves around 7.30 in the morning and it is 8.30 right now. I quickly got myself ready, just a little bit of foundation, some mascara and some eyeliner and that is all. <sighs> Cause I'm alone and he's at that age where he's not letting me get anything done. So he just got dressed. We're actually going to like a kinder gym kind of play group this morning. Kids just get to run around, have a great time. It's free play, a lot of gross motor skills. There's like hockey nets, basketball nets, slides, trampolines, you name it. It's really geared towards like one to three year olds, like walking toddlers and then before school aged. So we're gonna go there this morning just to get out of the house a little bit. It's a little cold, it's snowing right now. And then I think Alex and I are making homemade pizzas tonight. We were out of town last weekend for his hockey tournament and they were playing with dough and stuff and he was super excited to do that. So I said, well, maybe tonight when we're alone, we will make dough because he has this really big interest in cooking. Alex is my nine year old, by the way, if you guys are new, he's really interested in cooking. So I said, well, you can pick your toppings, whatever they might be, make your own pizza. So we'll do that. I don't know if we'll wait till Easton goes to bed. I think it just depends how his day is and if he lets us cook in the kitchen. I know like it's so dramatic if he lets us or whatever, but if you guys have an 18 month old or any kind of toddler and they're in your legs and destroying everything, sometimes it's hard to get any. All right, so he just realized I was talking to the camera and clearly he's spoiled and doesn't want me talking to the camera. So I will get my day started. And he is so happy. You silly guy. <laughs> Easton, where's your nose? There's your nose. Good job. There's your nose. Eyes? Where are your eyes? <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Hockey stick. Oh, as it's starting to snow And I realize As you had me Banana. 
Nana. Do you want to read this one? Here, look. Come read this one. Where's the tractor? Can you point? Good job. Where's the banana? banana. Easton, where's the banana? banana. Easton. Banana. I know. I know you can say it, but where's the banana? banana. Easton, was your snack good? Look at your face. It's covered in snack. Yeah. Are we gonna go play? Do you wanna go play? Where's your hat? Look, you wanna see Easton? Cuckoo! There's Easton. Okay, let's get your hat on. Where's your hat? Oh, there it is. And your binky? You don't need your binky, do you? No, we could leave your binky here. Should we get your hat on? It's chilly outside. Say represent. Even though they're out, we can still represent. Okay, up. Oh, good boy. Where's Easton? Where's Easton? Hi. Come on. Whoa. Everything we need? What do you think? What are we missing? Arugula? Do you want arugula? Oh, Daddy likes wraps. Hmm? Daddy likes tortilla wraps. Let's get some of these ones. Ah. This is how we keep Easton quiet in the grocery store. Feed him food. Make him a mess. Right? Can you set it down? Good job. Good job. You gonna have your lunch? What are you having for lunch? Oh, what are you having for lunch? You're having eggs and tomato and cheese and what are those? clementines and some avocado yeah let's try and keep this one on the table okay Easton can you keep it on the table this time what do you think say yes ma'am yes ma'am and Easton drinks out of a normal cup now when he's sitting at the table right and he's learning how to use his fork you want mommy help with the avocado give, 
your fork to mama, thank you. Look, oh, it's pretty ripe, isn't it? There you are. So it's been a pretty busy morning, so I gave Easton his lunch as soon as we walked in because he was cranky and hungry and tired. I washed him up. He's not really having anything substantial, but I guess he is, like with all the food he's having. But he has a really, really hearty appetite. He's gonna have, hopefully, cross my fingers, a pretty good nap right now after you're done because you're tired, aren't you? So he's gonna go and have a really good nap. He had that pizza bread when I was in the grocery store. We actually shared it because I was starving. The oatmeal I had this morning is totally not, doesn't hold me up from seven to noon, not when I'm 27 weeks pregnant anyway. So yeah, so he's gonna have lunch. I'm gonna get him down for a nap and then after his nap, or during his nap, I'm gonna get some stuff done around the house. I really like taking him to that play group that we go to because it's unstructured, which is really good because we can we have time to play around and bond and just hang out together. So I really like to take him. Number one, the weather has been really cold here the past couple weeks and it's hard to play outside. He's got a lot of energy and I find it just kind of redundant and mundane to do the same things in the house every single day. So we try and get a... <sighs> brother what are you doing to your avocado man uh so i try and get out of the house a couple times a week at least so today's been or this week's been three times try and get out it gives me the opportunity to bond with him as well i find when i'm home and that's my problem like it's totally my problem but i find i have a really difficult time putting away house chores cleaning cooking working because my husband does have his own home business so i help him out with that as well and then we have all of the kids so I find it really difficult to please don't make a mess yes thank you you want a bite of your egg there you go I find it really difficult to set all of that aside and spend that quality time with him so those two hours that we're out of the house I actually like interact with him play with him it's really a lot of fun and then once a week most weeks we go to this more structured play group where they have craft time songs books story time snack and that's two hours in the mornings as well and that is on monday mornings so we'll do that a lot as well it just depends what we've got going on during the week that my tripod ended up breaking and the ring light I have one on order from Amazon coming in next week so cross my fingers it comes in because the lighting is pretty terrible I'm trying to film the natural light I don't know how it's gonna be like later on during the video but we'll see aren't these the cutest little things in the entire world look at these leggings and these should fit her like next fall so they're gonna be super cute and fitting I've got so much baby girl clothes to go through so I'm just going to quickly go through this and then get a little bit of work done downstairs before Easton wakes up. I've got a ton of little girl clothes. So I've got her curtain I showed you guys a little bit earlier. This is all three to six months that was gifted to us by some friends and family so far. This is a six to 12. Yeah, and then a 12 to 18. I also have like some nine month sleepers that I ended up getting and then some other Carter's items as well. 
that I ended up getting on clearance for next fall. So that's going to be super, super cute. And then I also have some zero to three months up there, which I'm not going to show you guys right now because I want to do like a baby girl clothing haul video here in the next couple weeks. And that is going to be a part featured in it. Is, there, is this where we get to use for the, for the pizza batteries? Then? Yeah. So Alex is home from school and Hi. we're making those homemade pizzas that we talked about. Ryan has to build Easton one of those little kitchen helper things because he wants to help and he's gonna fall and hurt himself, right? That's why I'm right here. So these are the ingredients that you need. We're using two and a quarter cups of water, five cups of flour, some olive oil for afterwards, like right before you cook it, and then some salt. And then what else do we need? Oh, we need yeast. So yeast as well. So Alex is really interested in doing this. So I'm gonna let him- I like the dough. Make the dough. You wanna make the dough? Yes. All right, sounds good, let's do it. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. Ah, the rhythm. I'm feeling brand new. Keep pushing forward. It's gonna save you. Never look down, love. Not when we shine so bright. The sun is getting warmer. Oh, when we saw. Say so when we're tired and delirious, we dance around in circles, eh, Easton? So this is pretty much where we're at. I've got my shredded cheese, got some tomato, onion, some spinach, some pepperoni. I also have a little bit of basil that I'm gonna sprinkle on mine afterwards. And I think Alex will probably just have pepperoni and cheese, but he may surprise me. I told him he could do pretty much whatever he wanted on his pizza. He normally does mushroom, but I didn't pick any up, so I don't know. And then I've got our pizza sauce here. So we're just gonna do this. Like I said, I'm sorry for the lighting, guys. I have no ring light, so this is just my awful lighting that's in our kitchen right now. We're actually getting it changed out in a couple weeks. Easton's pizza's in our oven right now, so I'm gonna do his first. Beep, beep, it's hot. And then move on to the rest of them. Right, is that your pizza? Our oven doesn't get hot on the outside, by the way. Alex is gonna make his own pizza because he's a big boy. Right, Alex? Why do you put on Easton's, um... I put pepperoni, cheese, tomatoes. I think that's it. I probably should have showed you my pizza before I started cutting into it, but here it is. I have just the um, pizza crust. I did mine thinner. And then I put tomato sauce and there's cheese. Drawn bite. And then there's tomato sauce and cheese and some actual tomatoes. I've got some basil and then there's some spinach in there. Oh, and I have some onion in there as well. It is so, so tasty. And then Easton is all done his and then Alex's is still in the oven. So we're just gonna about to sit down and eat real quick. So how do you like your pizza? Good. You made it all by yourself. Yeah, it's really good. It tastes like a normal pizza. Does it? Uh-huh. It looks good too. It's nice and thick. I had mine thinner. My crust was thinner, but yours is nice and thick. Yeah. Just depends how you like it. Uh-huh. Easton, are we gonna have a bath soon when Alex is done eating? Easton, bath time. Peekaboo, where's Easton? There's Easton. There's Easton. Is it bath time? Bath time. Let's go say night night, Alex. Hey, Alex, Easton saying night night. What? Night night. Good night, Easton. Oh, 
you getting heavy like a big boy at night? Oh, night night. All right, well, Easton's in bed. I rocked him for like 10 minutes. He didn't want to be rocked for the longest time and now he's actually enjoying being rocked. And to be honest, I am loving rocking him because I know that he's not gonna be a baby forever and I'm really enjoying it. So we're gonna end the vlog here so we can spend some quality time together because this never happens. And then I'm gonna go to bed because it's getting pretty late and I'm getting tired. So thanks for watching this video. Like he said, don't forget to turn your bell on so that you don't miss when I post future videos. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.